deal. It is springtime and we've got these springtime storm systems coming across the USA and it's still a little bit left of our El Nino season. So this is the map right now, big picture. See the isobar, so see the dip. So there's a spring storm system in here right now, dumping some snow in the Rockies and that has grabbed moisture off the uh, Pacific and out of the Gulf. And that's why we're cloudy all day today. And we've got rain in central and North Texas this evening. That's right now. So spring storm systems out West bring clouds and rain to Texas. Let's push ahead in time. So we go into the middle of this week. Here comes April the 4th. So this is going into Thursday. Man, that would be beautiful. That would be clear skies in between two spring storm systems, but that's not what's going to happen. That's our next spring storm system. Dives into the Rockies, and in that position on Saturday the 6th, yeah, it begins to send clouds and moisture, maybe even a few little rain showers into Texas, and we head into April 7th and April 8th. This is Monday, and there's the forecast map. So the, the green is light rain. That's what's forecast near Houston and on the Texas coast by 1.30 in the afternoon as the eclipse is reaching its maximum across the state. And all the gray here over the counties of Central and West Texas, that's all cloud cover that's expected. So, you know, we may have some of the worst viewing conditions here in Houston. Hopefully they'll get a few breaks in here in the path of totality. But right now it is looking a little dicey for good viewing in Texas for this year's eclipse. 77